I'm Kathleen. Welcome to Kawaii Art Cafe. So here is another studio vlog. As you can see, I was packaging my orders and was running very low on my memo pad paper, which I use as thank you notes. So I was looking on Amazon to buy some more and I didn't want to pay $15 for paper. So I figured I'd try making it myself. So to make my memo pad paper, I'm actually comparing the measurements of my previous one to kind of imitate it. And then here I'm designing it. So I started off with a rectangle. Now I really liked having the stripes to write on. It keeps my handwriting straight. So I wanted to keep the pink and white stripes. I also added my business name, my logo, and a couple of embellishments. I also wanted a horizontal page, so I started designing and playing around with some old sticker designs I had. Then I just put it through my computer and I format the memo sheets. They're more or less about two and a half inches by three inches or so. I just want to keep the notes small so I can add them as little thank you notes to my orders. So once I'm done formatting, I'm just going to go ahead and print it out. And I'm just using regular computer paper for this, nothing fancy. And once I print this out, I just want to look at it real quick, make sure the size is good, colors are great. And next I'm going to cut it. Now you can do this very simply and just use scissors to cut it. But me, I'm being a little extra, I want it to be perfectly straight. So I'm just going to put this through my cutting machine here. I use the Silhouette Portrait 2 to cut my memo sheets and stickers. I already prepared the cutting instructions and click send and there we go now i could make these memo pad papers into actual little mini booklets however just because i'm just using this to add to my packages i'll just keep them as sheets for now so this is my vertical design and my horizontal one i think they turned out pretty cute and this is just me testing it out to see what it'll look like when i add them to my packages and there we go And next, I'm preparing to put some of my art prints that I sell at conventions onto my Etsy shop. So, like you guys seen from my Artist Alley vlogs, I actually keep most of my prints in a binder. I had just ordered these 8x11 inch prints from Awesome Merch. Uh, you can check those out in my Studio Vlog 1, I believe. Yep, so I have these three Gumball Series prints. Um, I didn't really get the chance to sell them since the whole pandemic, to be honest, but I figured I'd put them on my shop. So for photo props, I actually just used these uh, fake flowers I got from Michael's. You can get these from the craft store for like $10. And you might have seen them next to my printer in a previous clip. But yeah, I just used them as a backdrop for my photos just to make them a little bit cuter. And here, I'm just putting my three prints, trying to lay them out as aesthetically as possible for my Etsy listings. If you guys want to check it out on my shop, see how much I sell them for, uh, for the first day, I actually sold them for 50% off, and then now they are at regular price. And as you can see here, this is behind the scenes, I basically use like a phone light and a desk lamp to provide direct lighting. I don't use a photo box or anything, it's just very simple. And I actually just take pictures on my phone, that's how I record my videos. <laughs> Next, I'm showing how I make my glitter stickers. This isn't really a tutorial, it's, I said that really weird, tutorial. <laughs> This kind of just shows how I make it quickly. So I actually had these stickers made by Austin Merch a long time ago and decided I wanted to add them to my shop. But they were kind of plain, so I decided to glam them up and make them all glittery, sparkly, and super fun. It reminds me of those Lisa Frank stickers, if any of you guys remember. All right, so how do I glam these up? I basically use a glitter vinyl that I got off of Amazon. 
It's pretty much like the clear vinyl that I put on my stickers and I just use scissors to cut it out. And it's basically like sticker paper. Honestly, you just peel it off. And I just place my stickers on top of it. Now, an easier method of doing this is printing out your stickers first, then applying this glitter paper on top and then cutting it out together. But since I already had these stickers pre-made and I just wanted to upgrade them, I'm basically doing it the hard way. <laughs> I know, but learn from my mistakes, make it together. It'll be much, much easier for you. But nonetheless, the result is the same. And I love how glittery and magical these came out. They're so fun. I want to keep them all for myself. <laughs> but I do have these on my Etsy shop as well. So you can check them out in the description below. And now time for photography. So I'm using the same flowers for my prints. All I did is reposition them. Um, I'm showing a little demo video of me showing off the sparkles and the magic. And then I just place the stickers together just to take a couple of pictures. Very simple. Because I do want to show you guys, even if you don't have a fancy camera or the nicest equipment, something as little as using $10 flowers, a desk lamp, and your phone, you can get some pretty decent photos. So my advice for you guys is just to work with what you've got. And when you can, you can upgrade. So this is the demo video. I think it turned out pretty cute. <laughs> I really like these Ghibli stickers. Ghibli movies are a huge inspiration of why I got into art in the first place. So this is kind of to express my love for those anime movies. And lastly, um, after I added these to my Etsy shop, I'm just packaging my prints. I did order some packaging supplies, mostly from Amazon. I'm just showing you how I package my stickers and my Ghibli prints. Thank you guys so much for your orders. I really appreciate all of your support. Yes, and if you guys want to further support me, um, I'm actually saving up for a better camera since I know I record on a potato. Um, so I actually have a Buy Me A Kofi page where you guys can donate like as little as $1 towards my goal for a better camera so I can give you guys better quality content. Yeah, so if you guys are interested in supporting my YouTube channel, please feel free to check out the link down below just to donate. You don't have to, you don't have to feel pressured to, but if you want to, I'd appreciate it so, so, so much. Alright, I just put these in a flat mailer and they are ready to go. Thank you so much to my Kofi supporters for supporting this video. I'll see you guys later. Bye! First, I'm going to talk a little bit about what Buy Me A Kofi is. Second, I'm going to take you with me in creating a page, making the rewards and setting goals.